He doesn't come to me on Sundays in his good suit and black string tie, piously carrying a Bible, never. But place me in a Saturday town of khaki men with southwest faces and rich slow tongues, and Papa will blow around the corner on a Prince Albert wind, carrying a little poke of candy, maybe jelly beans. He will spot me with no trouble, smile confidently and say, Sister, you want to go eat a bowl of chili at Poor Boy's Cafe? I will get up from the bench in front of J.C. Penney's and go to meet him as I always do. Part of the things that went on with, with the children of Dust Bowl migrants, uh, when the, the parents were saying, uh, oh my lord, look at them young'uns clutch and hug dancing. Um, they, were, they had the immigrant's dilemma. They wanted them in California. They wanted what California had to offer, but they didn't want the children to change. That's the old country, new country. You want to keep the best of the old country, and in some cases, you try to create a way to limit what children will do, but they become Californians. you have to keep that low. Let me read Buried Treasure while I've got my breath. Great. Buried Treasure. L.B. Hayes ruined his expensive shoes, squashing around the autumn desolation of a sharecrop farm in Caddo County. Oki Boy turned 50, searching for anything that had belonged to his father when he was fighting the Great Depression kicked at a lump behind the caved-in cellar. And discovered a rusty Prince Albert tobacco can, stowed it away as he would a saint's bones in his Lincoln Continental, and headed back to Bakersfield. Albie Hayes was making the immigrant's journey. He's been to the new country. He's got to go back to the old country to find out who he is. It's a journey of self-discovery. And indeed, like a saint's bones, you take something physical with you to remind you of what everybody else was and who you are, because you can only be part of the continuum. 